Yo, what up? We're back. We're going to be talking about Beast Lord Eldon raid augments. Please make sure to like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Since they're a hybrid, they're going to you're going to have a lot of different augs you can choose from. I'm going to try to give a general idea of what the better ones are and what the ones that are lower priority would be. And we'll just start at the top and we'll work our way down and um, you can just pick out whichever is best for you and I'll kind of give my personal opinions along the way. So the first ones here are the damage augments. You have one that for hand-to-hand -hand weapons and you have one for uh, one-hand blunt weapons. You can get either one of these or both of them. Uh, you can get two of the same one since they're not lore and these are probably going to be your best bet for uh, for your, for your one-handers. And then there's also a pet proc weapon which does pretty decent damage. I don't know if it's like really comparable to the plus two damage weapons though but if you want to get this you can get this too and you can also get two of these so it's a, it's a fun little toy um, after that there's two one hand there's two two hand augments you can get uh, there's one this bloody chart of Kel Navarre um, this is good for weapons that are have a delay of 36 or higher any weapon below that it will not work on and I think that's uh, for Beast Lord's case I think that's Vanazir it would be the only weapon a Beast Lord can wear that would need this aug but if you have a weapon that's below 36 delay, um, you can still get a really good aug here. This uh, frost-covered rock of prowess. This will give you still give you four damage and plus one fire damage too. After that, you want to make sure you get the pet focus aug. This is really important. Uh, this will turn your pop level spell pets into a level 64. So baseline they're 60, and if you have this augment, the pet will be level 64, and it's going to give it a lot more health and it's going to give it some more damage too. And if you want some more information on like how the pet focuses work and all the stats and all of those, you can go up here to class guides, go down to hybrid, go to beast lord, and you'll see here you have pet focus items, and also there is a beast lord pet stats. So that's some more information on that. Um, so after the pet focus aug, there's some spell focus augment, augments that you can get. Uh, there's one for ice damage for your ice damage direct damage spells. This will give you plus up to 40% increased damage on those. And there's also a 40% uh, up to 40% poison dot augment too. So this will work on your poison dots. Uh, this is really nice. And I know beast lords also get a disease dot, but it's it's just plague. Uh, I think I think the spell is plague, and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And it's probably maybe not worth the spell slot. Maybe it is, but I didn't put it in the guide because it's just it's just plague. Uh, the poison ones are a lot better, so you can pick that one up. And then there's also the 40% healing augment. You want to make sure you get this. You can heal your pet for more. You can heal others for more. This is just all around a nice item for Beast Lords. After that, you have Heroic Dexterity Augs. Uh, this will give you some increased proc rate. And it's also going to give you accuracy. This is a really nice melee uh, buff to melee damage. So you're probably going to want to pick these up. And there's four of them. Uh, two will give you plus three. And two of them give you plus two. After that, there's um, some Heroic Agility Augments. Do I have all these on here right? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, okay, so Beast Lords can use three of them. Um, two of them will give you plus seven heroic agility. So that's going to give you evasion AC and it's going to give you strike through. So these are really, really good. Um, you might be able to get a lot of agility from the Plane of Time gear itself too. So you may not need to get all these to hit like the caps on all these different types of like, um, like benefits you get, like the evasion AC and stuff. So... Don't go too high on agility if you find out that you're getting like really, really high. Look in your in-game stat tab and see how high you are on some of those stats. Um, after that, there's Heroic Stamina. This is going to give you some mitigation, a little bit extra health. We're kind of getting to the optional-ish level, but these are still pretty good. Um, two of them will give you plus four Heroic Stamina, and one of them gives you plus two Heroic Stamina. So if you're not near the cap, these are really nice to make you more tanky. Um, after that, you can get some Armor Class Augments if you want. There's two of them that give you 20 AC, and there's two of them that give you 15 AC. Uh, this top one here is overall the best one because it can fit into type 7 and type 8 augment slots. It also can fit into all kinds of other ones, so it's just the best because it's the most flexible. Um, but again, this is kind of optional territory here, like how do you want to build your beast lord? It's up to you. Um, after that, there's heroic strength, and there's four of them that will give you plus four heroic strength for type 8 slots. And there's um, five of them that are all for type 3 slots. So these are only going to fit into like Eldon type gear. You probably won't end up needing these. But I threw them on here um, in case like they're rotting. Or maybe you have a piece of Eldon gear you can throw these in. But again, Heroic Strength is kind of optional. It's just based on what you want to do. 
and you're not going to be able to get every single item on this list because there's just not enough aug slots um, after that if you're not maxed out on uh, attack or maybe you need some maybe you don't have a very good haste item maybe you're like an alt or a box or something like that there are two augments that will give you both 40 percent haste and plus 20 attack so if you want to pick these up you can and then there's uh four of them that will give you plus 25 attack and this is only for raid gear it's only type eight and then there's also four of them that i'm sorry three of them that will give you uh plus 20 attack and these are only for type three so just like eldon gear and again this is an optional uh optional thing here just if you need it for some fillers um after that some more optional stuff we have hit points there's four plus 70 hit point augs there's four plus 50 hit point augs and these plus 50 ones will go in type 7 and type 8 so they're more flexible so that's really nice and then there's two that are only type 7 uh, you may not see these unless you're guild uh, raid spider den or sunken library these overall have uh, worse loot tables than some of the other eldons so people don't run these a whole lot but sometimes people will do these for some chase items but these are just kind of so you know they exist you don't you probably won't you're not going to probably end up using these unless you're like an alt and they're rotting or something like that and then lastly, we have mana regen. If for some reason you want some more mana regen or you're not capped out from your plane of time gear, there are four plus three mana regen augments available just to hit you, help you hit that uh, worn flowing thought cap. Um, though again, these are completely optional here. If you're under geared or maybe you just want a little bit more uh, mana regen, you can pick those up. So that pretty much covers anything, everything. Like I said, beast lords are a hybrid. So, you know, there's a lot of different options to choose from. But generally, the stuff at the top, you're going to want to get those. And the stuff at the bottom-ish um, is all optional. And you can just pick out kind of work, what works best for you. So I hope this was helpful. Please make sure to like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.